I have to say I enjoyed that. It was nice to sit outside in the cold, fresh air and the sun for a bit. It's the first time I've done that in a while. I sat out at night quite a bit. Sometimes I'll have a little fire going and just uh, sit underneath the stars, that kind of thing, out there bundled up in my winter jacket. But it's been a while since I sat out in the sun, and probably a while since anybody sat out in the sun. But it was nice. Uh, the, the cold air was perfect. It was just enough to give me that chill to say, hey, you're still here, you're alive, and you can feel something. And you can feel the warmth of the sun on your face. The neighbor's dogs was quiet. There was no snow blowers going. It was actually a pretty good, it was only 10 or 15 minutes, but it made a world of difference. And I need to do that more often because it, uh, it does wonders. That stuff is always better going down. It smells good, tastes good, but it makes you feel like crap afterwards. On another positive note, I went back out to my shed today with my screwdriver, my cordless drill, and I actually fixed the problem I had yesterday. Removed those two long screws. I inserted some uh, toothpicks inside the uh, hole so that way it would give some fresh grip for the new screws. Thanks to a tip from a friend. So I'm happy with that. Come on up. You're going to sit there like that, are you? Hmm? See this keychain? I don't know if I can focus. There we go. That's about uh, close to 30 years old now, I'd say. Well, time to go to Canadian Tire and pick up that piece for my light that I punched out. That's it. That's my punishment. Going out in public. I don't like it, but I gotta go. That should work. I need this to work on my motorcycle. Next thing on my list is a breaker bar. I gotta remove the tire from my motorcycle. And this requires asking for help. Don't like it. That was a success. I actually ended up coming out with more than I wanted. Got copies of my keys made to my front door. Needed those, but just kept uh, putting it off. So yes, that was wasn't as bad as I anticipated. The joys of owning a dog when you miss a few. And the nice thaw starts. <laughs> Pretty soon the whole backyard will look like pepper. I need to medicate after that. Get ready and go read for a bit changed my mind on reading right now. I'm going to put a, a pinhole on that one. I decided to meditate instead, which, uh, which I think was the better option. It was nice. It was about 11 minutes. Doesn't take long to do these meditations, but they, uh, 
when you get in the right mindset to do them. They really do help. Just clear the mind for a few minutes. Helps you be present. So instead of uh, reading, I'm going to watch an episode of Sweet Tooth on Netflix with my coffee. And... And my dog. He's going to watch with me. Aren't you? All ready to go? Hey? Yeah? All right, we'll go. Well, at least I can say I've been out of the house a couple times today. We made it home. Now I gotta remember to throw that bag out this time. I forgot the last time I had one. Just like that, peace disappears. The time has come to fix my damage that I done because I was stupid and punched it. I did it. Mmm, what are those? Oh, those are those chicken Costco or Costco chicken bites. My son must have had a couple left over. What to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, I know what to do. It's kind of hard to get comfortable to read right now. What do you think, Rex?
I know one thing, it's some hard cooking supper when you're not hungry yourself. Like I, I'm not in the mood to eat. I don't want to eat. I'm doing this because I have to, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, my wife's coming home in a little while from work and my son will be home from work in a bit too. So it's nice to have some food ready for them when they get here. I don't care about me, I'll live. Cheers. Good morning. I made it to Monday. That requires a sip of coffee. I wasn't sure I was going to make it, although my weekend was better than the previous days before it. It's still, uh, still, still not the greatest. I know some of you are probably noticing some differences and and they are positives. I can feel some positives from all this. But at the same time, I... Like when I do these things, like for example, going to Canadian Tire, or cooking supper, or whatever it could be. It could be something, I don't know, read a few pages in a book. The problem I'm having is that there's no fulfillment from it there's no joy from it there's no sense of satisfaction or accomplishment or anything like that so it's it's all just emptiness and it's and it feels pointless it feels like there's no purpose for it like why read a book like why if i'm not going to remember what i'm reading why bother why do i need to go to canadian tire to get that switch when it works fine even though it's broken and like there's so many whys and it's just uh, i'm having a hard time with that uh, lack of uh, that lack of satisfaction from anything because i know at least i used to be this way whenever i would complete a task to be like a sense of yes i did it i finished it look at this i made a poem and you'd have a little hint of excitement you'd have a bit of relief you have uh, a few other things like that that you'd feel when when you complete tasks or you i don't know accomplish a goal or something it could be positive it might not even be a task it could be something that's positive like uh, graduating high school or or just winning the lottery or whatever it could be but usually you feel something from that you feel happy you feel joy or if you don't win or you don't accomplish it you might feel disappointment but i feel nothing from it like i went to canadian tire i fixed that little outlet thing or that little switch plate and it's there's there's nothing in it for me like i absolutely have zero satisfaction from it and it's uh and it makes it harder to engage in these types of activities or attempt to complete tasks or read a book or watch a movie or whatever because it's like watching a comedy you expect to laugh at the funny parts but you just kind of just stare and just it just flows through you you're not acknowledging it you're not processing it just going through the motions and that's kind of you're faking it until you make it and that's pretty much what's been going on with me the last few days because i know some people picked up on that i seem like i'm doing better well there's a couple reasons for that one i'm forcing myself to go through the motions of the things that i should be doing what a person who is feeling good would be doing he would be doing tasks so I'm forcing myself through certain tasks and feeling nothing. And I forget where I was going with that. I had a good point there too. Oh man. Yeah. I hate that when I lose my train of thought. I'm going to hit pause and I'll think about it and see if I'll come back in a couple seconds. 
Yeah, I think I remember what I was going to say. It was going to be something about how people do find satisfaction from their their work, their endeavors. I mean, you could cook a big meal for your family and you see them all sit down and enjoy it and you feel great and satisfied. Yes, I cooked a great meal. Everybody's eating, everybody's loving it, everybody's appreciating it. But for me, like when I do that, I just like, oh, I just can't wait for this to be done. Like, why am I cooking this? Like, I, come on, hurry up, get it cooked, get it done, get it over with. And that's it. There's no, yay, I did it. It was just like, thank God it's done. So I guess that's kind of relief. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's not the greatest kind of relief. Like, I should be proud of it. But no, I just take it all in stride in a way and uh, and just let it uh, just dwindle like, like to me each task is just mundane and monotonous and is pointless and that's uh, and that's why I have a hard time doing a lot of different tasks because it doesn't make sense to me and and I struggle with that quite a bit Anyway, since it's Monday, I'm going to stop talking now because I blabbed on with the last few minutes a bit too much. So I'm going to end this one. It's Monday, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll be seeing you again in a few days. I start another treatment on Thursday. So most likely I'll start capturing a few more clips between now and then, depending on my mood. And again, what you see on screen is usually not what, you're, what, I'm, what I'm feeling. Because half the time when I'm in a mood, I, the last thing I want to do is hit record on this screen. So you're seeing the best of me, I guess you could say. So the powers of TV or YouTube. Anyway, for those of you following along, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. I'm going to go now and try and read for a little bit or go through the motions. Actually, now I'm going to meditate first. I need to clear my head or empty it or give it a break. So take care. Happy Monday.